pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, good morning. I'm Bruce Walls. Uh, I have been serving as chair of the Mount Airy Board of Election Supervisors for the last few election cycles, and so I'll serve as chair, interim chair to get the meeting started. Uh, we're waiting on uh, the town clerk, Debbie, to get back um, to record the, are you recording uh, the minutes? I think I'm going to attempt that, yes. Okay. Well, I, I'll go ahead. Um, and we'll open the floor for nominations for chair of the Board of Election Supervisors. Are there any nominations for chair? I nominate Bruce. Is uh, there a second? I second it. Any other nominations? Well, doesn't seem to be any. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, well, thank you very much for your confidence. <laughs> continue this. Uh, we have the draft agenda for the nominations meetings, and uh, we're waiting again. Debbie wants to make some comments on that. Uh, the committee has been provided with the dates that are scheduled. One of the things we'll have to do today is formally accept those dates. Uh, they're pretty well set by town code and in the election handbook, um, but we'll have to just review that, hours of election, uh, talk about poll workers and things of that nature and what we want to charge for that and also begin to think about recruiting poll workers. That's always on time seems to be an issue uh, and how many want. Uh, one of the things uh, for Ann for your benefit is now that we have um, uh, uh, electronic voting, it's much easier than it was many years ago when we, when we used the town ba ballot box and we would be there in the wee hours in the morning counting votes. Um, so that makes the system a lot better, and I assume all that's been arranged. Again, we'll check with uh, uh, Debbie on that, but I believe she already told me that. And I know it was put, the, uh, the money for that was put in the town budget to cover the cost of hiring that service. So uh, we'll have that. Um, one of the things we really want to focus on are ways to get more people out to vote. Uh, hopefully it will be more activity this year because um, it's a mayoral election as well as a council election. Um, but we only had, I think last year, and, and it's what it's been running about 6% of the town that actually comes out to vote. Yes. And, uh, you know, we want to get people interested. We've had some local issues that have brought people out and gotten people excited, so maybe they can, that hopefully will carry over to elections. Debbie, I've called the meeting to order. Uh, we had the election and, uh, I'm quitting now. <laughs> so we are. We have. We were just chatting and talking about some things in general. So uh, we're down to the uh, draft agenda for the nominations meetings, and you had some comments and things on that. And I said one of the things we'll have to do is just formally vote to accept the dates, and so. Uh, We're on number two. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I mean, where I have in the um, the lines is that what you're talking about to fill in? Well, no. You have on the agenda. You have draft agenda, and you have comments. Oh, you guys are. Oh, okay. This is, this is what I did. Mm -hmm. Pulled it off from, from last year. Mm -hmm. Very similar to last year, a few changes. But um, I will have to take the, the, I guess the date we're going to advertise it. And so I left that blank. But I just wanted you guys to look at it, see if you had any changes or any comments or anything you wanted to, to make different. That's all. Now, the, uh, the timing of this, again, is specified by, by town yeah. code. Um, and that's something, you know, I didn't get a chance to do. Um, does everybody, let's put it this way, how does everybody look at the code? Do you, I mean, you just go online to look? Because I've given hard copies. I, before. Yeah, I have hard copies from previous years. Right. If you need a hard copy, I'd be glad to run you one offline. It's online. I don't know how comfortable you are with yeah, that. That's fine. I can look online. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. But I'll be glad to run you a hard no, copy if you need it. 
Um, yes, a few years ago it was more critical because we made some changes. But now that we have it stabilized, there shouldn't, it's really a reference document to support uh, our actions. And you just, and you just go through our town website, mm -hmm. and if you have any questions, call me, but through our town website, under government, town code, E360, and then do search elections. And there's two sections. There's the charter part, and there's the code part. Um, so you'll have two sections. But I can certainly walk you through it. And Uh, maybe we should just, uh, for the purpose of the audience, mm -hmm. um, Dick, you want to start? Just state who you are. And oh. uh, Dick Swanson. Ann Duckett. And Ann will be our alternate. And I'm Bruce Walls, already introduced myself. I'm Mark Moxley. I'm Debbie Parker, town clerk. Colin Appaluso. Mm -hmm. Special, oh, assist <laughs> special <laughs> assistant to the town clerk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, why don't we go ahead and just approve the dates? So what it, the, the, there are essentially three, well, there are more than three critical dates. There's uh, the dates for the two meetings, which are March 13th and March 20th. There's the date of the election, which is Monday, May 1st, 2017. Um, so those are the three main sort of public events. Um, so is there a motion to accept those as the official dates? Well, so moved. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, then we have to talk about the dates for closing registration and sending out absentee ballots and that sort of thing. Yes. Well, because Frederick County, and the way it works, Ann, is Frederick County and Carroll County, they do, first of all, we have a universal registration. If you're registered in the county, you're automatically registered in the town. It used to be different yeah. years ago. So, the you got to turn your mic down. The media center can't hear you. Oh, sorry. Put the mic down. <laughs> yeah, I'm not used to that. Um, what I was saying is the um, we have universal registration. So if you're registered in the county, you're automatically registered in the town. Um, if you need to register in the town, you do it through the County Board of Elections. Mm -hmm. um, you can come here and get a form or whatever. But um, So with the um, universal registration, they take care of all of our listings. Um, I don't know what we do without them, so they do all that. We actually hold our own election. We have our own laws, but they take care of all of our um, the registered voter listings, those kind of things. So, um, so anyway, Frederick County needed a date to close registration, and that is March 31st, 5 o'clock. Registration to vote, or? Oh, right, yes, to vote. Our code reads 28 days before the election, and because of the weekend, it ends up being 30, 31, but yeah. So. Uh, okay, so then uh, is there a motion to accept that date? I'll make the motion to accept that date. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so that's approved. Then we have uh, absentee ballot dates. I forgot my calendar, Bruce. Um, um, I can get one of you, girl. Talk. Let me grab one. A little short musical interlude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, would you like to sing? So we can get absentees prepared after um, nominations. We just need maybe about a week to do it afterwards, the most. So um, nominations will be done on the 20th. So I would think we could have um, absentees ready by Monday the 27th. Okay. Is that good? Monday, 
March 27th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with absentees, you need to come in person or send a letter. This is just for the public to know. Um, signed by, you have to sign it, send a letter in, or um, come in, in person to uh, get an absentee ballot. And as in other elections, if you show up that day and you have an absentee ballot already on file, we need to be notified and then we spoil the absentee ballot and you vote. All right. Um, as far as the meeting agendas for the two things I've looked them over, they're very pro forma. Uh, all the things that are required by the council, just and for your information, they have to have a written statement that they are willing to run. So you couldn't ha you couldn't come out and put somebody's name on the ballot and they not know about it. And then there is the following the, the financial disclosure statement within 10 calendar days of the nomination. Uh, we've never run into an issue with someone not doing it, but then we'd have to address that. Uh, but that uh, usually Debbie uh, chains them to the table that night until they fill the <laughs> form out. So. so, is there anything else on the two uh, ads? Uh, why I noticed in number three it says uh, hometown observer. We don't generally advertise in the messenger. It just depends on when Becky's schedule is. Now that was hometown observer because that's what we did last year, mm -hmm. last time. Becky runs every few weeks. Whenever I can use Becky, I certainly do for the messenger because she does a lot for us. Okay, and so runs our free messenger or town news yeah. page. But we, um, I can change that so it's not out there like that. But um, that's what we did last time. It just depends when Becky's paper's coming out and if it works on our time. Schedule. Okay. Okay. So. So do you want to change it to hometown observer and or? Yeah, what I might do in a local newspaper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, and we resolved the issue of uh, at the first citizens meeting, if somebody, I nominate somebody else, but they're not present, that the written requirement is sometime during the week. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. By the time we adjourn the second meeting, we have to have all the written acceptances okay so if somebody were to nominate somebody on the second night they would have to either have the letter from them or the person would have to be here with their written permission okay okay anything else on the citizens meetings no. all right no. Uh, review of the election handbook. I really don't think there's much to go over there uh, because, I mean, that's, again, very pro forma. Uh, this may be minor. Uh, the town will provide lunch and dinner for the clerks. Uh, I thought we had coffee and pastry also in the morning. I do, and I take care of all that. Okay. <laughs> I don't function well unless we have coffee. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Would I really let you go without coffee? <laughs> but no, this is, this is probably the way it was written years ago, and we've kind of, but we've changed all that. Can we okay. specify the type of donuts now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we going to get picky Krispy Kreme or Dunkin's? Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> Everybody's leaving when you retire. <laughs> Uh, well, you, what I would um, just take that at your leisure, look it over, and then the next time, if there are any issues, just bring them to my or Debbie's attention, and then we can either, if they're editorial, they can be addressed. If they're procedural, we'll, you know, we'll address them at our next meeting. Hours of the election. And I guess it should say hours of election. And that is again set. Well, no, it's not it's set. Not a time we frame is we set. get to set the time frame, and our time frame has usually been. We set it from seven to seven eight p.m. Seven to eight p.m. Yeah. So seven do we want to seven, seven a.m. to eight p.m. Eight p.m. Yeah. What did I say wrong? Sounds yeah. like an hour. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah. Well, I, I seven a.m. Makes, makes for a quick day. Eight p.m. <laughs> is that uh, agreeable with everyone? Yes. 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 So we'll assume that's approved then. 
And again, that will be at the activities building on the Carmel grounds. Uh, and we will have to be there early, like at six. And I assume the town staff will put the markers out. Now, I will, I'll, something we'll have to decide. We'll have to decide uh, where we want the 100 foot to extend from because the building is being renovated. And it, it, there'll be no problem. The entrance will be just 20 feet further out. But we're going to have a portico and a courtyard that's attached to it. Do we extend it from that? structure or do we do it from the front door of the polling place i would say front door to polling place yeah, i would cool. think so cool. so then that would not include the portico and the courtyard that'll be there feet from feet the from yeah front door yeah and so that 20 feet may put them almost onto the grass <laughs> yeah that's what i was thinking when you started talking i was yeah, thinking yeah, farther the, and farther towards the yeah, grass yeah so it's yeah the, the front the new addition on the front's 20 feet out so so that'll be from the front door okay okay um and the town as i said the town workers will be up there yeah, putting cones up and that sort of thing um <coughs> suggestions for poll workers we have some people that work all the time with us I do have um and, and then how many do we need well that's something you need to decide too last time um, well, you need at least four right, last time we okay. just did minimum you guys filled in if you still want to do that that seemed to work um that's up to you that's why i have them well i would suggest we have an alternate five to six depending you know five to six because of a you know the, the poll work is there you're talking about the people who work at the tables. Right. Mm -hmm. Last they, time we they, had four. You didn't think that was good? Uh, well, it's, it's tough to, to get you. breaks. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That's up to you guys. That's a long yeah. day for yeah. them. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Whatever you want. I mean. I would say five minimum. Yeah. If we can get them. If you, anyone knows anyone, that sometimes is a, is a hard thing to get. So if anybody knows anybody that would like to do that, I would appreciate it. Okay. And, um, Margaret Huff and I believe Linda Brown. Um, well, that's why I have two. And I think... Um, Blashford. Okay, I haven't checked with, with him yet. Yeah, if you know anybody that's home, uh, that wants to, and we can pay an uh, exorbitant salary for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's the next thing. I want to make sure you want to keep that. So we're looking at five poll workers. All right. Salary for poll workers. We currently pay eight dollars an hour. Well, now if you want to keep that or change it. What's the minimum wage? Eight seventy-five. Hmm? Eight seventy-five is minimum. Then it should be mm -hmm. nine. We should pay Maryland minimum wage, right? Yeah. Wouldn't you say? And that is Maryland. Mm-hmm. That's only seven twenty-five. Pardon me? Wait a minute. That's only seven twenty-five. Maryland's is eight seventy-five. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. Maryland. I, I mean, my suggestion. Yeah. Is, yeah. I would suggest minimum minimum wage. Just to roll it up to nine, then, Bruce. Yeah. Sure. I mean, that's a suggestion. But that's up to you. Well, if we stick with the minimum wage, then that's going to creep up each year, right? Until it gets up to. It actually right. goes to 925 July 1st. So I would stick with it. That way it'll always yeah. roll and we won't. Because right. then do we roll 925, you know? Or okay. it may be higher then because it'll be a two year gap. Yeah, I think it gap, caps so. out at 10 something. Yeah. So I would, just, I would just suggest that we stick with the 875. Okay. 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 Is that agreeable? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And we did have five in 2015 on number eight. Yes. Well, I was thinking it was four, but yeah. Okay. Did we? Oh, we had we one, one on call. Leave. Yeah, and then we had somebody on call, didn't we? Yes, and I always keep somebody on call just in case there's a flu or something. <laughs> the young lady that did it from Mount Air East isn't coming back. No, she's not in town anymore. Okay. Oh, no, that lady. You know, I haven't checked with her. You might want to check with her because she was really into it. She yeah. really liked it. But I think I'm hoping she was trying to get a full-time job, so. Okay. Well, sure hopefully she, she got the job. But the other lady that was on the board, she's not in town anymore. Okay. Um, and we are still going to have this as a paper-based system, correct? I'm sorry. We're still going to have a paper-based system. The county's not going to give us 
there touch pads or anything like that or right we're still but now we have our voting machines right right we, we had the voting oh, yeah okay. i meant the registration process yes, yes. We'll, we'll continue to draw yep. the line through of the book draw and right. we're going to do everything. it the okay. old-fashioned way Unless, I didn't know whether the county would say, no, you have to use our electronic systems or something. Um, we can use their electronic systems. That was an option, but we never discussed that, and I already have our voting machines that way mm -hmm. booked for mm -hmm. this year. But if that's something you want to think about for the next one, that's something we can have a meeting on after the election. Yeah, I, th yeah, I think it? maybe it's too soon to, yeah. or too late, I guess, yeah. to, too late. to go try that now. And I think it worked, well, personally, I think it worked pretty well. Mm-hmm. Do you? Well, you can't hack into it. That's <laughs> 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 for sure. You can't hack into ink and paper, can you? I would uh, suggest that the instructions to the clerks uh, include the statement that uh, those cards that are given out mm -hmm. register be away from where the uh, public can pick one up inadvertently. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know, it was a couple of years ago we uh, we had a, a couple of elections ago yeah. we had a problem with that and mm -hmm. making sure we could resolve the number of people who uh, came in to vote with the number of votes cast. So okay. that's I think that's mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. I will put it in the book and then also we'll make a note and maybe you could bring that up or I will also the day of the election. Mm, right, when right. We go through yeah. everything with the clerks. Yeah, yeah. We'll and you'll print the oh, they provided those cards though. Yes. The uh, voting machine guy yeah, had them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sam provides them. Okay. So we've talked about absentee ballots. Mm -hmm. We have the registration close date. Yeah. So what have you been doing in your spare time? In my spare time, <laughs> I sent, I gave everybody a copy. I whipped this up last night. Um, so I don't have to bore everybody. This is pretty much what has been done. Um, of course, the building's reserved. Um, our elections service company is uh, McAfee, so for Ann's knowledge, and um, they're wonderful. We used to do a, a paper ballot. This is wonderful. And we have the, um, we don't have to count them at the end. Um, there's nightmares about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So and I think everyone's been pretty pleased. And we'll have two machines. Two machines. They actually send a gentleman who comes and spends the night at a local place um, the night before, so he's sure to be here, and he stays all day with us. Oh, so nice. it's, it's very, it's nice. So, um, so that's all set up. Um, the counties are all on board to help us. Uh, we have the first meeting almost completed of our uh, election board. Um, nominations will be coming up, those meetings. Um, Handbook's been given out, uh, et cetera. Then for, to be done, you can kind of go through that. But uh, and, and when you see supplemental, we have our, our universal registration. We also have a very, very small limited list called our supplemental registration. These are people that a long time ago we had just, that's the only list we used, was just people you have to register in the town separate. So this list, most of the people are off of it, but we still have a few. Okay. that don't want to be on the uh, register the universal registration okay. so uh, that list needs to be updated and so when the poll workers check off the um, people who are in the county books they also have to check you know they'll have a few to check off in the uh, supplemental book. okay thank you I think we had two last year last election was it two two I think it was two <laughs> in the book so um, yeah so same thing um, and Holly's going to be taking minutes for us um, and attend all of the election functions um, since I will hopefully be out of here in three and a half years and Holly will be ready <laughs> to take it over. So uh, we also, getting the word out, and I think that might be, um, well, that's on the agenda, but um, we like to uh, Marsha prints on the water bills the date of the election. So that if, when we get to that, you'll have to decide if you want to continue that, but that's mm -hmm. a nice way to let people know. Yeah, I know. think we'll, we'll have a little more discussion on that. Yeah, when we get we down run a ticker on CMS or on the uh, cable channel, those kind of things. Um, but you can kind of read that stuff for yourself, what has to be done. Okay, next. That's all that. 
Okay. Um, so that preparation is all done. Ways to get more people out to vote. As I said at the beginning, we only have about 6% of the town. Now, I'm hoping with this being a mayoral election that we'll have more interest. I just hope we have a contest. Every year we sit here and we worry, are we going to have, you know, three people get nominated, one for each council seat and a mayor, and then so we'll sit up there looking at ourselves for <laughs> that. Or we could, I guess, theoretically, we could change the voting hours if there's no, if it's a, but we, we did do that once but, a long time ago. Yeah, but we do have we do have to have a vote because there's the ability to put an absentee vote. I mean, a, a writing candidate um, in there, so that adds to it. But hopefully, we'll have interest in the town. So we really need to look at ways to encourage people to come out and vote. And so the traditional things that you mentioned, we've done. One of the things I think we talked about one time was a banner across Main Street or something. I don't know if we can do that. Like. Uh, that says, you know, vote in the, in the day of the thing or, uh, um, or... That's something we'll have to talk about. First of all, I don't know what it costs because we don't have that in the budget. Mm -hmm. I can put it in the budget for next time, but since we... Banners, I would think... Um, there's an issue. There's a, but don't forget us, and we're not allowed. Banner across the... Yeah, no. oh. The, the, the utility cut. Okay. Yeah, and they yeah. were not allowed. No. So Mark used to, as I told Mark, used to work for the town. Okay. He used to run all the maintenance, so he knows. So well, we okay. could put it across the front of town hall or something. Well, you could also put a banner out there at the corner of South Main Street where you have banners for the chili cook offs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So you can still catch people coming into town and maybe talk to the Lions Club mm -hmm. and use their... They're uh, billboards. Welcome mm -hmm. in. That's They're welcome billboards in each end of town. That's a, I mean, and, mm -hmm. and as far as getting people out to vote, uh, do, you, do you know if there's any uh, group out there that is planning to have some sort of uh, uh, debate or forum with the candidates? They usually do, but I haven't heard anything since we're just getting rolling in this. So I haven't heard anything. But we did. I think last time. Yes, there was one last time, and I, I, who uh, did that? Who sponsored that? Oh, I can't remember. I know they had the library, but I don't remember who sponsored it. Because that doesn't come through us. Because oh, no, 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 no. I know that. Yeah, yeah. That. yeah. yeah. We're, but um, sure. I, I think that has one of the bigger impacts on uh, actually getting people interested in the uh, conversation and get out and vote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I can certainly contact Lions Club. Um, about the signs and, and put the date of voting. As far as the banner, I can certainly check and see what one would cost if you guys want to decide what you want, where you want it. But to get it ordered, I could probably do a local printer. I'm guessing, depending how big it is, maybe three or four hundred dollars. I don't, I don't know if it's that much. You know? Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I, if it's a plastic yes. heavy, yeah. I'm just not sure. Yeah. But a big one. But mm -hmm. we might be able to do it. Mm-hmm. So that's something you guys need to decide. Money-wise, um, we have a small budget. I'd have to see how much I have left in there, if anything. Because um, our budget pays our poll workers, it pays for our election machine, it mm -hmm. does all that. So, uh, and I, you know, we watch it, taxpayers' money very carefully. Right. Does the um, maintenance department of the town do any sign? Can they make a sign up of any type? I, Not to my knowledge. I was just thinking one of the things that we found useful when activities are at the activities building is on the corner of Twin Arch, like just into the fire company property there, put a, a, a sign up there, you know, vote here today, town mm -hmm. election or something. Um, we can get a sign made. I doubt that yeah. would cost that much. Yeah. Um, maybe. Oh, we could put it on that fire company sign. We'll have to check on that. <coughs> You'll have to make an good. official request to the fire company for I that. Will. The other thing is if maybe some, um, you know, Boy Scout needs a project or some group like that, they could maybe make the signs up or, mm, That's true. You know, Larry could help us, Larry Hushauer. Yeah, something like scouts, that. They, so. That would be a good civics lesson for them. Let me look in to see what can be done about the signs. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can come up with something. Yeah, it's yeah. Surprising. Exactly where were you talking that we could put a sign and how big would it be? When you come on Main Street. As you're coming past McDonald's coming up and before you make the sharp corner, there's like the billboard in the field that we had used to hang the chili cook-off signs. Okay. Somebody has now put a, made a plywood sign, so maybe you could put a sign right there. On the left-hand side? It's, as you're coming up the hill, it would be on the left-hand okay. side in the, okay. on the corner. All right. Which would, well, I think, would catch everybody. Yes, the Divinay Property yes. Town owns. Okay. Yes. That would probably be a good place, good eye-catching place. Okay.
because the Lions, even though we're talking about the welcome signs, I think the Lions Club have their don't they have their yard sale yeah. right around the same time the election is being space done. On those signs. Yeah. That's the only yeah. problem. Um, and I get I need to check to make sure with Heather what we can put up and what we can't. Yeah. Which brings us to another issue that we probably need to just reinforce and have that information available for the candidates or the political signs. They are working on the sign ordinance. I don't think anything's been changed, but let me, um, the way it's always done is that we like them to register with us. Um, things have changed through the years that we don't have much as much control as we used to. Right, because of First um, Amendment. Yeah. So um, I need to look into that. Yeah, just so we have those requirements and everybody yeah. knows because we don't want to have issues yeah. uh, okay. with that. Just to re refresh what the town requirements or right, restrictions are related to political signage. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will check with Heather on that. Any other ways to get people out to vote? Like I said, Marshall usually puts it on the water bill, but mm -hmm. I'll be truthful. People look at that water bill, get their money, and they don't, I'm not sure how much. Mm -hmm. I've never seen it on it. You haven't. I've never looked at it. So. Shame on you, Brady. Uh, I have not. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Holly saying the town's Facebook page. That's a mm -hmm. good one because you do have a lot of followers. Mm -hmm. And, of course, it'll be on the town website, of course. We do that on the... We can put a banner across here so every time that there's a meeting it shows up, you know, well, town you elections. Down and, front down and the day, yeah, or down on the front there. Yeah, we could get a banner for that. I just need to check the money thing we mm -hmm. have to you know i need to budget for these things for next time we have plotters the girls can make one for the table here okay yeah, they can make great signs. we can have the girls do one then mm -hmm. and honestly when cmc tapes they sometimes can, if we ask them they can probably get the front of this table off and on during they get it quite TV. often do they yeah, good i've good. seen it quite often during the hear that cmc <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay. Well, I'll keep thinking about that. If anything comes up, you know, we'll try because I really would like to have a good turnout. As I said, there was, you know, we recently had a contentious issue in town and got people fired up. And I'd love to see that enthusiasm. Maybe the candidates wouldn't, but, <laughs> but uh, I'd like to see that enthusiasm carry over to the election because, you know, the thing is that's the way you have to influence what's going to happen in your town by the people that sit around this table. So Another idea is it's still in our circle, but if they can get the word out, um, maybe if I could do a, a note to each um, commission chair, if they would announce it repeatedly mm -hmm. at their your chair on most of everything. <laughs> yeah, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Um, Can you handle that? At their meetings, mm -hmm. when the vote is, get it out to your neighbors, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes, like, they're, they're covered by the um, reporters, so mm -hmm. that would be a reminder, too. So I could certainly do that if that's something you want. Yes. every every I think every little bit helps. Mm -hmm. I, I would say, although nonprofit organizations, civic organizations can't get involved in elections with their opinion, but I think it is appropriate uh, for them to, uh, if you say, do you mind putting something on your website or Facebook page, just announcing the fact that there's an election and without comment. Yeah, without mm -hmm. comment. Uh, you, a couple of the organizations may post that, and they get pretty wide readership. Any other thoughts? Any final thoughts on that? Not right now. Okay. Um, as far as the next meeting date, um, I don't know if we need anything uh, unless we want to just put something on the calendar with a hold in case any issues come up before the um, March 13th date. Um, but I don't. I think we're pretty well set. I I would agree, but and I think we need that whole date because if we try to something organize something close right, to March right. 13th, you know yeah. how our right. calendars are. So let's do it. If we can, let's do it now because yeah, pick a date. Time just I would probably, you know, do something mid second week of February or mm -hmm. um, mid February. One date. What are you going to do 
morning, you want to do it in the, the morning seems to work well. Morning works great morning for, me. for me. Fridays are, Fridays are best for me. Fridays are best for Ian. Yeah, they work, work for me. Good for everybody else. Yes. Mm -hmm. We'll do it early, like this morning. I'd like the nine o'clock mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. yes. We get mm -hmm. it done and we move on. Yeah. Um, what do you think, Chris? Well, we can't do the third because I have to go back to the orthopedic surgeon that day. Okay. Um, do we? It, it'd be between the tenth and the seventeenth. Yeah. Well, I'm good for the seventeenth. Why don't we shoot for the seventeenth? Okay. February 17th. And honestly, probably it wouldn't be that Bruce, just to get together. Let's mm -hmm. get everything's on track. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If anybody has any questions. Yeah. Because you'll have to put a notice out about that anyway, right? Yes. No, right. Just. So, uh, can you say tentative or? I can say tentative. So maybe, sure. uh, well, we'll touch base. Well, what, when do you have to say 15 days? Oh, no. Just for um, a press release for a meeting. If I do, I would probably do it the week before. Okay. Days before. Well, we'll just touch base and go, but let's just. And for the nominations yeah. meeting, then I have to do, yeah. I have a certain requirement mm -hmm. when I have mm -hmm. to advertise. Um, there'll also be an ad that goes out that I actually get a copy of the ballot from the gentleman who does the machines. Um, he actually gets me, once the nominations are over and everything, we do an ad, who's running, what the ballot's going to look like, I, I do that. Oh, nice. So we send that out so people can actually see what they'll be they'll be using. And now, right now, I just do um, what's required. If we want to do more, um, I will check the budget, see if I have any squeaky room. Um, I, I run it kind of tight, so I'm not sure. But um, we could maybe advertise again mm -hmm. if you or our reporters that are so kind to us could just make sure it goes little articles here and there would help right Tony well hopefully if we get um, we have contested positions I'm sure <laughs> we can get, a little bit get some mm -hmm. people putting things in there and if we have a form of there is a form of some type you know that would be covered I assume and no, I can't because when I, uh, as part of the swearing in, I have to state that I will not seek elective office. No. So I have no intention of sitting at this table other than in this function. It just gave me palpitations. Second that. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Okay. <laughs> As All right. Tell, I mean, a lot of us have been around a long time. We've been <laughs> together a long time. It's a comfort zone. That's a good thing. Small town. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Anything you can think of, Debbie? That's about it. everything that I could think of. Um, yeah. If anybody has any changes, anything, or you know, contact me. I go everything I do before I do anything. I, I check the house. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, and can you send out the draft minutes? I know we can't approve them to the next meeting, right? right? But uh, and Holly's going to do that for me. Um, yeah, that way yeah, we get make sure we're all on the same page with yeah. the bullets of uh -huh. things that need to be done and whatnot. And she's got both hands full, like all of us around here. So give her <coughs> tomorrow. Will be tomorrow fine. be good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've done minutes in my life. <laughs> But sure, tomorrow sounds good. All right, have a <laughs> Sunday. Uh, Don't Sunday worry, we'll, we'll edit them for you. <laughs> well, it's... Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> well, the, we have the holiday Monday, so Tuesday morning will be fine. Tuesday's going to be fine. Of course. Oh, we are? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't, yeah. Don't let her. I need her. Okay, anything else the, for the good of the... Bruce, this is your third. Will this be your third year of sharing? Third cycle? At least. At least. At least. I bet it's I longer. I think it's been now, longer, yeah, too. You've been chair since I've been on. Anyway, you've been That's chair. four cycles because of these well, switchovers. Well, was, well, yeah, because we, we did all those special little elections mm -hmm. to get on the mm -hmm. other schedule, so we did the shortened election period. So This would be third with the uh, voting machines? Is this mm -hmm. third? Third or fourth. Third or fourth. And you were around, but when we were doing paper, yeah. right, were, right. Were, you were, you I involved. started. I wasn't chair, but I came on the committee when we had the Zeltman uh, 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 annex two thousand six. 
That's, that was yes. my first yes. experience, and the fact that I kept after that is amazing. But, it, uh, it is. But yeah. Who was chair then? Was it Mason? <sighs> it was he? I forget. I'd have to look him up. I forget. That was a nightmare. We were there with a coat hanger trying to stuff, literally stuff the ballot box down so we could get all the ballots in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Talk about a turnout. Volunteers, <laughs> I don't know how we wouldn't be able to function. Or the tax, let's say. And I think we, we finally got the results at about 4 o'clock in the morning yeah. or something like that, or, like or 7 o'clock in the morning or something. Yeah, yeah. With regards to the turnout uh, over the last uh, few cycles, uh, admittedly, it doesn't seem like a really high percentage, 6% of the town's administrative voters. But have you looked at other nearby towns over the last few years to see how their turnout No, I don't think we have. In other words, like Sykesville yeah. or any other Bexar County or Frederick County municipalities are having a turnout of significantly higher. Why? What is it about? My 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 experience just and this is reading the results in, uh, for example, the Carroll County Times, or Frederick News Post, which does give the percentage usually of the turnout. And it seems to me there's a correlation between whether it's contested, not contested, whether there's a nunner issue, uh, referendum or ballot on the, on the ballot, uh, and that'll spark greater turnout. But like Bruce says, um, the biggest turnout we ever had was because we had the Zeltman issue back in 2006. And I don't think we want to get turnout <laughs> by generating an issue, but. I think there's direct correlations, contested, yeah. mm -hmm. and where there's other issues on the ballot. Right, yeah. Are That's you suggesting then that uh, maybe somebody should uh, vote a, an issue that could be contested? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, are you suggesting you want to write an editorial? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a whole procedure for that, and <laughs> deadlines for that as well in the in town code. So, and, and that's the other thing. We've been fortunate we've never had to do a special election. Right. Or do a referendum, which would fall under us as well. And that was a question too when they were talking about ways of removing council members, that that would would involve us. And I spoke about the issues that that created to the council. So uh, all, all all things to be considered. But hopefully we'll see that what happens at the nominating meeting. It really is. That really sets the tone, yep. mm -hmm. who runs. But I think we'll have more interest because, again, it's a mayoral election as well. Anything else? Let me go to the committee. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second? Second. Meetings adjourned. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Back, thank you. The lights so we'll, went, we'll be well, that light went out. Tomorrow. Yeah, I, know. I already got on our back donuts. So, Mark, is your business turning around? <laughs>